So I'm only too aware of the irony of commenting on this subject while wearing a bathrobe. Um, but you could take that in two directions. This could either be indicative of a uh, Hugh Hefner style uh, large S, or it could be indicative of the fact that I have such a work ethic, such a commitment to my um, uh, my work as a uh, commenter, and whatever the hell it is you would say that I do, that I got to it right out of the bath. So it's really up to you what the fact that I'm in a bathrobe means. <clears throat> but I heard, and I can't let this go, um, I heard uh, a conservative commenter state that the Occupy movement is indicative of a loss of work ethic among the political left. <clears throat> as I understand it, economic justice as an issue in the whole, and certainly um, looking at the uh, talking points from the Occupy movement's manifesto, um, certainly applies here, is about not people getting stuff for free, but people actually getting what they worked for. If I actually work 40 hours at an agreed upon rate, I should actually see that. Um, but that that applies to broader um, contracts as well. Like the idea that hard work would necessarily translate to success, comfort, or heaven forbid, something like material security. Basic material security. So, <clears throat> um, I, obviously I disagree, but I do think this comment is very, very interesting because it indicates some other things as well, like, let's say that you do work, you are not appropriately rewarded for it, who would be most interested in providing you with maybe some shame? maybe some uh, uh, some moralization about your character regarding your being upset that you weren't compensated for your work. Who would be involved? Who would be interested in that? Who would, oh, I don't know, spend billions of dollars a year on political consulting agencies, um, message management groups, who would be interested in having that kind of message out there? And there is, um, in, uh, invariably in this message, invariably, is a tra uh, an appeal to traditional American spirit. You know, what this nation was built on. Wasn't this nation built on slave labor? And doesn't that sound an awful lot like what we're talking about, but the funny thing is that's not actually what sprung immediately to mind when I heard this phrase, when I heard this pundit. The first thing that sprung to mind, and work will make you free. <laughs>